Okay, where we left off our game was when we played the game, the hero can shoot the villains or the enemies, and if the hero touches one of the enemies, the hero gets killed. And the hero has three lives, so there's the second life, and now the third life, and now there's no lives left, and we've traced the output window game over. And all we have to do now is write some code that sends us to a game over screen or a game over keyframe, and that's fine. But what about when the hero kills all of the enemies? Right now, when we play the game, if the hero kills all of the enemies, what happens is nothing, right? So we kill all of the bad guys, and the hero is still here, and the bullets are still flying, and there's no second level, right? So we need to address that. How do we go to the next level once we've killed all the enemies? So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our code, and we're going to go down here to where we created the lasers and then we move our lasers when we shoot them and when we move the lasers we have this thing that says if the lasers hits the aliens we remove the aliens so this is where we remove aliens kill aliens score points right and then we have this piece of code here that says if the alien count equals zero and then I put in a comment level up. So this is where we need to put our code for starting um, the next level essentially. Now I found a problem in this code and I had to redo a lot of the videos because there's an error right here in this move laser function. And what it is is we're running this for loop where we loop through all of the aliens, right? And then I've put this if and else if, I've put this conditional logic in here within the loop but I don't think we want it in the loop. It doesn't work right if this this conditional logic will get called too many times too fast um, by having it in this for loop. And you can see the for loop actually right now starts here and ends here. And so sure enough these if statements are inside of this for loop. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this if, the else if, and this elf, else if. I'm going to take all of that right there, right? and I'm going to cut it. And now you can see the for loop ends right here. So now right above this other if statement I will paste it. And so now our if statement is outside of the for loop where it really actually needs to be. And so there we'll just move this over and that is going to solve us a lot of problems took me a while to figure that out that that was causing the problem and now we're ready to move on okay so this is what's gonna happen we the alien count gets down to zero meaning we've killed all the enemies and now it's time to game level plus plus raise up the game level by one so game level plus plus and then a semicolon and then hero dot remove movie clip so we will remove our hero from the stage temporarily and after we remove the hero from the stage we're going to delete the hero dot on enter frame handler because we don't need to be running it 30 times per second if there's no hero so we delete that we want to make sure it's stopped basically we also want to stop since there's no more aliens we want to make sure that we are delete aliens dot on enter frame right want to make sure that that's gone so we just explicitly remove it and then what we want to do is we want to remove all of the lasers that might still be flying across the stage so what we're going to do is we're going to write a little for loop here and we're going to loop through all the lasers so we do an open and close parentheses and an open curly brace and then a close curly brace. So this is the structure of a for loop right there. And then we need an increment. So uh, integer to increment. So we'll say k equals 1 semicolon as long as k is less than or equal to laser count. Right? We've, we increment the lasers when we created them. So now we can use it as an index to go through all of the lasers. And then we will put a semicolon and then a 
k plus plus. Okay, so that will increment through all of the lasers. And what we'll do is we'll say RM laser, we make a name for it, remove laser. RM laser equals root timeline open and close brackets. We'll say laser plus k. All right, so RM laser equals the name of the laser and the, the the laser number, right? So that will index the laser, put a semicolon, and then we will say delete, and I'm not sure if this will work, but we could try it, rm laser dot on enter frame. So we delete the on enter frame handler. That should stop the lasers from moving. Let's give it a test. So click here, once we've killed all of the, you can see the laser stop moving. So we know that's working, right? All right, so we know that that's working. And not only do we want to delete the on enter frame handler that's moving the lasers, why not just remove them as well? So we'll say rm laser dot remove movie clip. Okay, and that should remove them from the stage. Once that's done, we're going to, now our for loop is done. That's the for loop. Okay, so I'm going to go below the for loop now, but I'm still in this block right here. I'm still in this if statement. And then what we'll do is we'll say, we'll return the alien speed back to 6, which is where it started. Let's make sure we have that variable at the top. Yep, sure enough, alien speed equals 6. So we will return that to its original speed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create an interval to call a function that will reset everything. So this is how it'll work. New level interval equals set interval and then We'll call a function, let's say, called hero up level, comma, and we'll call it in four seconds, which means 4,000 ticks. All right, so what this does is it says a name, new level interval, which we give a name to. We call the set interval command, which we call a function called hero up level, which we're going to have to write. We want to call this function to do an up level in four seconds. So now we have to write that function. So our interval, so the game level gets incremented, the hero is removed from the stage, the hero stops moving, the aliens stop moving, they're removed from the stage, the lasers are removed from the stage, and now what we need to do is we've stopped everything, but now we need to up level and get that working. Okay, so once again, we killed everything, but now we need to actually up level and then basically start everything up again. Okay, everything's been removed. We need to now go to the next level. So, okay, so what are we going to do? Well, before we do this, when we go to the next level, I'm going to anticipate a problem which. I'm going to anticipate this problem, which should help you out. So, in other words, when we create the aliens, right, we, in the create aliens function, we said i equals game level. So game level, game level was equal to 1, and so then we said case equals 1, and then we made all these aliens, right? So what we need now is case 2. And you shouldn't, see, you shouldn't have this in your code. I have it here. Um, anyway, I'll just remove this. You probably don't see it. You probably just see something like this here. So what we need to do is we need to make a case 2. So this for loop goes to here. So what we're going to do is you'll see this case 1 which equals level 1. So now we need a case 2. So what we'll do is we'll say break and then a semicolon and then we say case and what we can do is we could actually just copy let's just copy for right now case one 
So we could say copy all that, copy, and then put it right after the break. So now case 1, we'll call this case 2, and now instead of 14 aliens, we could say we want 23 aliens, or we could say 25 aliens. And we can add all of these aliens here, and then at the end, of course, we're going to need a break eventually, so we put it in now, and that's it. So now we have a case 2 scenario ready to go, which is going to work for level 2. Because in other words, when we call create aliens again, because we finished level 1, it's going to create aliens, it's going to say what game level are we on, and I equals game level, so I is going to be equal to 2 because we'll be at level 2. So the switch will say 2, case 2, so we have to have a case 2 if we're going to do a level 2. So that's why I did that. So now it's ready to go. Then if we decide we want different aliens, we can, we can talk about that, or we want more aliens, so we just added a few more here, let's say, and we start from there. Okay, so now all we need to do is since we have uh, something in place for level 2 for creating aliens, all we have to do is write our function that's going to get called. In other words, the function that's going to get called is hero up level. So we'll write that down at the bottom. So we'll go all the way to the bottom and we'll say function hero up level open and close parentheses, open curly brace, close curly brace, and we say, okay, first thing we want to do is when the hero up level function's called, we've already incremented game level to two, so we don't need to do that. So we say create hero, which is the same function we called to start the game. We create the hero. And then once we've created the hero, we need to create the aliens and we already have those functions in place right and we already created the level 2 scenario which is going to add more aliens and then once that's done we need to then delete the or clear interval clear interval new level interval which is the interval that we created that's calling this function. So we're creating the interval, new level interval, that actually just called this function. Well, what does that do? The new level interval called this function. We don't want to call function hero up level more than once. So we just delete it once we've executed it the first time. So now, let's hit control enter and see if it works. Alright, we kill the aliens. Oops. We try to kill the aliens. The enemies. Okay, and now we should be at level two. Yep, there's more aliens, characters back, and we're fighting on the next level. So now all we have to do is add sound and maybe put a little sign or text box that shows that we're now at level two.